Kravitz with the Indianapolis Star. What, uh, what have you observed about uh, New Mexico State and, you know, in the time you've watched them on film? Uh, they're definitely very athletic. Um, I mean, there's a reason why they're in the NCAA tournament. Uh, it's all right. It happens all the time. Um, but they're, they're definitely very athletic. They uh, like to crash the boards. Um, you know, we're going to have to do a nice job on um, getting the defensive rebounds. And, uh, you know, they're definitely a very talented team. Jordan, Ken Bikoff inside Indiana. How does the Big Ten season and the physical play in that conference prepared you to play for against a physical team like this? Um, helped us out a lot, you know, playing against the Michigan State, Ohio State, and all really the all of the Big Ten. Um, very phys physical conference, so it really got us ready for this game because New Mexico State, they play physical like Cody was saying. Uh, they crash the boards a lot, so we got to do, do a good job of boxing out. Tim Booth from the Associated Press. For any of you three, you've known for a while you're going to be in the tournament, but could you talk about the reaction you've had from friends, fans, fellow students since the announcement was made on Sunday night that you guys were actually back in the tournament? You want to take that, Christian? Oh, yeah. I mean, we received a lot of support, you know, from um, friends and family, and they've been, you know, they've been with us throughout the whole year. So, I mean, you know, giving them something to cheer for is what we're trying to do. For all three of you, I'm just curious, have you all been able to get your, your family out here to Portland? Because I know that's always an issue uh, with, with some guys, and I know that the NCAA would like, or the NCAA probably ought to help family members get out here. Are all three of your family members your, uh, coming out here? We go down the line. We'll start with uh, start with you, Cody. Uh, my parents are gonna go watch Tyler in Greensboro because he's the favorite. But um, I think that's. Uh, yeah, my family's on their way out here right now. They're uh, they're flying out here right now. Yeah, my uh, my parents, uh, my aunt, my cousin, and my older brother are coming. Jason Gross with the Las Cruces Sun News. Christian, can you talk about what you've seen from Wendell McKenna so far? I mean, what stands out to you about that particular player? I mean, he does it all. He's kind of like, uh, you know, Draymond Green from Michigan State. You know, he kind of does it all. He can shoot the ball well, and, uh, you know, he gets to the offensive glass, and we just got to keep him off the glass. Can any of you talk about just what's it been like replacing Jones since he went down? What's that like? What are the challenges of replacing him so far, and what's that? Jordan, what that, what that's been like for you? Uh, yeah, it's definitely um, hard to replace a Verdell Jones on our team. He's a senior. He's been through all the ups and downs. Uh, uh, one of the senior leaders on this team. But um, my motto all year has been next guy stepping up. So we have guys who are on the bench who are fully capable of doing so. And um, you know we've had a great week of practice. And uh, you know it's tough not to play without Verdell. But then again, um, you know we're getting and, and adjusting the way that we need to. Thanks a lot. Uh, Paul C. Kala from ABC7, Las Cruces, El Paso, Juarez. Um, you talked a little bit about Willie, Mc or uh, Willie, what am I saying? You talked a little bit about Wendell McInnes, but can you elaborate a little bit more, more on his physicality and rebounding, what you have to do to stop the player that's that tenacious and moves so much and, and uses his, his muscle, so to say? Uh, well, the main thing you got to limit is touches. You know, we want to um, not let him catch it on, on certain spots. We feel like we're going to crowd him a little bit, get into him, you know. You know, make him be a ball handler and stuff like that. But, I mean, you just got to keep him off the glass. You know, always have a body on him. Cody, beyond McKinnis, how, how are the other different ways that New Mexico State can, can hurt a, a team? Um, it starts with McKinnis, but um, all the way down the line, they're one of the tallest teams in the country. And, you know, they get a ton of offensive rebounds. Um, you know, like I said, we're going to have to do a nice job um, getting all the defensive rebounds, not only – um, blocking out McKinnis, but the rest of the other four guys on the court always crash the boards hard, so that'll be a big key. Obviously, on Indiana Daily Student. Um, Jordan and Christian, I guess this is more for you guys. Uh, Maurice Creek has been a guy all season that, as you guys have you know, made this run, he's kind of been watching from the sidelines. Uh, what impact has he played this season for you guys as a player off the court, and what has it been like for him, you think? Um, I'm sure it's 
pretty difficult for him, you know, because he obviously wants to be out on the floor playing with us. But uh, he's done a great job being a vocal guy off the court, whether it's uh, calling out plays that their team's running or, you know, taking a guy aside and uh, encouragement a little bit. So um, he does different things off the floor that uh, go unseen to the public. But, you know, as a team, we all see it happening. At all, I mean, he's just been a been a leader off the court more than anything. Connor O'Gara, Indiana Daily Student. You know, looking at New Mexico State, they are number one in free throw attempts in the country. Um, how do you go in, you know, with a matchup like that to not really play to their strengths and keep them out of the interior and getting you guys in foul trouble? Who is that directed toward? A any one of you. All right, uh, like you said, they they get to the line a lot. Uh, we can't get in foul trouble, so we just got to do our work early, um, keep them out of the paint, um, you know, keep them off the offensive boards. Um, you know, we played against some teams that get to the line quite a bit this year, so um, you know we're we're gonna have to do all little things it takes to win. Jordan, how do you temper the excitement of being in the NCAA tournament and keeping everybody? kind of focused on what they have to do just with the next game? Um, just approaching the game the same way we have all year, you know, uh, same mindset. We've approached it, whether it's being practice or film sessions. Um, I mean, we're definitely uh, honored to be here, but um, once we get on the court, we know it's game time. We got to, you know, just keep our heads level and uh, focus on the details to win the game. <laughs> Christian, you guys have improved a lot on the boards and have been more physical this year. How, how much more fit do you guys feel to play a team that is this physical and this big this year as opposed to maybe years past? Oh, well, I feel like the Big Ten helps us a lot, you know, especially with um, as physical and as, you know, how teams go in the Big Ten. So, I mean, we just got to, you know, put a body on them on the glass. And, uh, you know, me and Cody will be down there majority of the time, but we got to get all five guys in there to help us rebound. Jordan, as a follow-up to my last question, have you seen everybody taking this with the kind of serious focus that they need to? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like I said, practice has been really great this week, and um, the mindset's great, and uh, we're trying to really dive into the film and uh, all the different things that go on in practice. So uh, as long as we stay focused on those things, uh, we'll be able to do all right. Any further questions? All right, thanks, guys.